What's going on everybody, Dato Doi here with some very exciting news for Dragon Ball Fighters, and that news is the first to officially announce DLC characters coming to the game. And those two characters are Bardock and Broly. Now we'll get to the specifics of each character listed here in a little bit, but I do want to talk about how fantastic of a choice this was. So I don't know how widely known this is, but whenever they hold a popularity poll for characters in Japan, Bardock usually comes out in number one. And of course, if you live in North America or literally anywhere else, you've probably heard a bunch of people talk about how much they love Broly. If you combine those two characters and release them as the first DLC characters, you are setting yourself up for some of the best-selling DLC ever to be released in a fighting game. Now we got this information from the Shonen Jump magazine which will officially come out a little later on, but these scans usually get leaked around the 17th, which is how I'm giving you this information now. Okay, and now let's get into the specifics of each character. Broly's level 3 super is Gigantic Meteor, which uses 3 bars of the energy gauge to fire off a cluster of energy. And Bardock's level 3 is Revenger Assault, in which he transforms into a Super Saiyan. So yeah, I'm actually really excited that they didn't make Super Saiyan Bardock his base form, because personally I like base Bardock a lot more than I like Super Saiyan, but I am glad that they gave Super Saiyan Bardock some showtime for the fans that do like him in that form. And with that, that's really all I have for you today. A super short video for sure, but some amazing news for Dragon Ball Fighters as I'll definitely be using Bardock on my team, and I'll also be trying out Broly because who doesn't want to try out Broly? So with these two characters out of the way, the Fighters Pass is already paying off for me, but I want to know from you guys. Down in the comments below, let me know what other six characters in this list would absolutely make the Fighters Pass worth it to you guys. I know a lot of people want Janemba and stuff like that. Personally, if I could choose one character, it would probably be Raditz. I don't know why, but he's the only one coming to my mind right now. I, I know he's kind of a lame character, but in all the past games, I used to really like his moveset and how dumb they all were, like Double Sunday and Triple Saturday, <laughs> just based off the weekends for no rhyme or reason. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on that, guys. I'll be down in the comments as always. And while you're down there, if you like this video and enjoy this channel, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as I'll definitely be putting out more videos on these two characters and the rest of the characters when they get announced. I'm Dato Doya, and I'll see you in the next one.